Hello to my cherished brothers and sisters. Your presence on my channel fills my heart with gratitude and warmth. I'm eager to stand beside you again and share God's magnificent word, singing his praises in unison. Today, I carry with me a revelation, a whisper from God that may not resonate with everyone. But that's the beauty of his messages. They're tailored, intricate, and profound, meant for those seeking answers to specific prayers. Remember always, I am but a humble vessel, channeling God's messages to you. Any doubts, any ponderings you might have regarding these revelations, lay them at God's feet. Speak to Him, seek His wisdom, and validate the truths for yourself. As His beloved children, it is our duty to continually seek clarity and understanding from our Heavenly Father. I recall a time when God had spoken to me about a great shift in wealth, and at another, about the sacred promises He makes to us. These aren't just pledges of protection or love. These are sacred covenants, woven with destiny and purpose, awaiting the right moment to manifest in our lives. There are souls among us, perhaps listening to this very message, who have been waiting, waiting for a sign, an affirmation of a promise made long ago. I sense a deep urging from the Holy Spirit, an urgency to emphasize the importance of a forgotten or overlooked commitment. Maybe it's something you noted in your journal years ago, a dream that felt almost divine, a promise whispered into your ears either directly by God or through one of His chosen ones. It's possible that amidst the cacophony of life, this assurance was overlooked, its significance perhaps shadowed by the immediate joys or sorrows of the moment, Here's a revelation that some might find staggering. Sometimes God's promises are so seamlessly integrated into our lives that we fail to recognize them for what they truly are. They arrive as words of comfort during trying times, as fleeting thoughts that fill us with inexplicable peace. But as time marches on, these words, these promises get shelved, gathering dust in the recesses of our memories. We cherish the comfort they once provided, but often forget their true purpose. Yet God never forgets. His promises are eternal, waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect alignment to unfold in all their glory. If you've ever felt a word or message was more of a temporary blessing rather than a promise for the future, it's time to reconsider. God's promises aren't just fleeting moments of solace, they are profound commitments that stand the test of time. I encourage you to introspect, to dive deep into your memories and unearth those divine assurances, whether they appeared as dreams, prophecies, or simple words of encouragement. Reflect on them, pray over them, and let God guide you to the realization of His grand designs for you. In this journey of rediscovery, remember that our loving Father is ever watchful, ever present, and forever committed to seeing His promises come to fruition in your life. In moments when life's cacophony drowns out our inner voice, we often miss out on the soft whispers of God's assurances. There have been times, I believe, when you felt a serene message delivered to your soul but brushed it off, attributing it to fleeting whimsy. As you journeyed on, that message might have become a distant memory, buried under the sands of time. I perceive that for some of you, these whispers have taken the form of dreams. Imagine lying down, enveloped in the embrace of sleep, only to be gently nudged awake by a revelation, a vision, or a voice. It was not just a simple message, but a promise, a harbinger of blessings that you were meant to receive. Yet, at that moment, you might not have recognized its significance. Instead of cherishing it as a divine promise, it was perhaps seen as merely a pleasant thought or a fleeting joy. God is now beckoning you to cast your thoughts back and recollect that message. He directs you towards a specific passage. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 10 and 11, it says, The land you are entering to take over is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you planted your seed and irrigated it by foot as in a vegetable garden. But the land you are crossing the Jordan to take possession of is a land of mountains and valleys that drinks rain from heaven. Continuing to verse 12, It is a land the Lord, your God, cares for. The eyes of the Lord, your God, are continually on it from the beginning of the year to its end. 
This isn't about a vague memory from the distant past, but a pivotal reminder of a blessing you experienced but might have overlooked. This passage is so much more than a mere description of a landscape. It speaks of the transformative journey that God has planned for you. Egypt, symbolic of your past, is a place where blessings seemed scarce, a land where you had to toil and labor for every small reward. But the land God promises is different. It is nourished by divine intervention, the rain from heaven. It's an emblem of God's unwavering care and attention, a place where His gaze never wavers, ensuring its prosperity throughout the year. What God is illuminating through this scripture is that He has a plan, meticulously crafted for you, a plan that you might have missed or perhaps didn't comprehend fully at the moment. He is inviting you to shift your perspective, to look at past blessings, not as isolated moments of joy, but as harbingers of a future filled with His grace. There is a palpable energy, an undercurrent of anticipation emanating from this revelation. It's the stirring of your spirit, recognizing that something profound and transformative is on the horizon. This isn't just a message, it's an awakening. Heed it, for God reminds you that there is a promise pending, waiting to be realized in your life. Embrace it with an open heart and let God guide you to the future He has so lovingly mapped out for you. In moments of stillness and reflection, there's a powerful whisper that echoes within your spirit, a murmur that emanates not from the outer world, but from the very depths of your soul. A message, not of your own making, but delivered to you from the highest power, from God Himself. Perhaps it was a vision on a silent night or a dream that danced across your consciousness, leaving behind a trace of divine revelation. Maybe it was conveyed through a selfless messenger of the Lord or captured by your own hand, penned down in a fleeting moment of spiritual connection with the Holy Spirit. At the time, you might not have seen its true significance. It might have seemed like a fleeting thought, not a promise, a mere coincidence, not a divine blessing. But it was there, deep within, resonating, waiting. Yet time has a way of letting memories fade, and it seems that many of you have let this divine revelation recede into the background. But the Lord, in His eternal wisdom and boundless love, wants you to know that which was foretold will come to pass. Reflect upon the sacred scriptures, they reveal that the land you're poised to inherit isn't comparable to familiar terrains like Egypt. This isn't about a journey you charted on your own, nor a destination you've chosen from your desires. This isn't a dream you've conjured or a plan you've meticulously crafted. God's promise for you is akin to a land with majestic mountains and deep valleys, where every drop of rain is a blessing straight from heaven. And here's the profound truth. The Lord's gaze never wavers from this land. From the dawn of the year till its dusk, His attention is unwavering. So when His promise for you materializes, know that it's been long established, meticulously nurtured and divinely crafted. It isn't a mere happenstance, but a celestial design, tailored just for you. This blessing, this inheritance, isn't merely about receiving. It's about the transformation of what was to what should be. It is reminiscent of the spiritual principle. The wealth of those who stray from righteousness finds its way into hands that uphold it. I can sense it. I can hear it whispered in the spiritual winds. Resources, once held by those distant from God, will be channeled to those who walk in His light. So hold steadfast, believers. Even if you've forgotten that whispered promise from long ago, God hasn't. What He has set forth for you, the divine promise He whispered into your spirit, is on its way. And when it arrives, it'll be evident that it was always part of His grand design, an established truth waiting for its ordained moment to shine in your life. Embrace it, cherish it, and let it be a testament to His eternal love and boundless blessings. In the vast expanses of time and life's challenges, it's often easy to forget that there are powers beyond our understanding, powers that shape our journey and destiny. The Almighty makes it clear that there are certain things in life that we cannot possibly achieve by ourselves. 
These aren't mere rewards or gifts, but are manifestations of our spiritual strength and the special touch that God has placed upon us. Imagine being entrusted with a gift so rare, so powerful, that it stems directly from the anointing you carry. Picture yourself navigating through life's toughest terrains, the vast wilderness of challenges and trials. There, amidst the solitude and quiet, you're being reshaped, remolded and refined for a destiny that's far greater than what you might have ever imagined. For many, the wilderness has stretched on for what seems like an eternity. But don't be mistaken, these moments are God's crucible, a sacred ground where He is preparing you for what's ahead. His assurances are clear. He has graced you with resilience and strength, so much so that this promise, this destiny, will be received flawlessly. You will not be led astray, and no forces, not even Satan, can snatch this blessing away from you. Envision God as a diligent gardener, nurturing and tending to a sacred patch of land, ensuring that from the year's dawn to its twilight, everything is perfect. When the time comes and you step onto this land, the realization might hit you like a wave. The blessings you'll encounter may not look like what you had envisioned, but they will be precisely what God intended for them to be, tailored for you. In this journey of faith, the scriptures serve as a beacon of light and hope. The divine whispers in your heart are signaling that the moment of fruition is near. In this grand life, every moment we live is not merely our own doing, but a culmination of divine guidance. While personal choices carve our paths, there's an unseen force meticulously guiding us towards a higher purpose. We often skim the surface of our spiritual journey, unaware of the profound layers beneath. Those divine whispers aren't just fleeting thoughts, but a resonating echo meant to align us with a greater purpose. Venture beyond mere listening, delve into its profound significance. Each revelation is a beckoning, urging us to transcend mere existence, charting a journey of deep meaning. Rediscover that buried promise, for within its folds lies not just your purpose, but a mark that will echo for generations. Soon, many of you will witness the gentle cascade of blessings, each drop significant and meaningful. The promise that God whispered into the winds is on the horizon, ready to unfold. Remember, each one of us is here for a reason, a divine purpose. Every heartbeat, every breath and every step is a testament to God's magnificent plan as we strive to glorify Him in the name of Jesus. This message isn't just words, it's a testament to the love and plans that God has for each one of you. So in moments of doubt or despair, recall this message, embrace its essence and let it fuel your spirit. Let love, faith and hope guide you, for they are the very essence of God's promises to you. Be blessed, cherished souls. Dearly beloved, I have something crucially important that I need your help with today. Sadly, some YouTube channels are cheating the algorithm with bot-generated comments, undermining the system to gain views. Your real heartfelt feedback is our best weapon against this. If this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up and share your genuine thoughts in the comments, even if it's a quick amen. Together, we can champion authenticity and ensure quality content rises to the top. Thank you for standing with us. Please support our ministry by clicking the thanks button and please consider joining us as a cherished member. Your generosity uplifts our mission. God bless you.